Hello everyone, my name is Panda and welcome to the NCN channel. Today we're diving into the Hidden Gem Monster Maze. This review focuses on the PC experience, but don't worry, Monster Train is also available on the Xbox One and iOS. Also, this is a disclaimer, I am a bit sick recording of the audio of this script, so please bear in mind that some places will be very scuffed commentary. Monster Train is a statistic luck based card game featuring Shenzhen, Dark Souls as well as Bosses and Monsters. As you progress through different routes, you will face constant threat of enemies trying to breach your defences and reach the art of your train on the fourth floor. Known as the prior, your mission is to deploy your units statistically to fend off waves of enemies until the final boss arrives. When the boss makes its entrance, your main priority shifts. Stop that boss at all costs, or it's game over. As you go further, the game becomes more manageable because your death evolves with the choices you make. Your decisions directly impact the, your success, so place your units wisely and maximize the chance of victory. Each boss in the game has unique abilities to design to counter your strategies. So pay close attention to their description. Sometimes these abilities can be a bit, uh, excuse my friends, BS. But that's part of the fun and challenge. The story of Monster Train is pretty straightforward, so instead of me spoiling it, I let this short video clip do the talking. Hell, our home. Frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. One spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our train, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. Wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Monster Train is a roguelike deck builder developed by Sunny Sue and published by Good Separate Entertainment. It was first launched on May 21st, 2020 for PC, followed by the Xbox One release on December 17th, 2020, and the iOS version on October 27, 2022. Visually, the game is stunning. The animation of Polos and the 2D slash 3D hybrid environment brings the game to life. The vibrant graphics enhance the storytelling and immerse you into the dark fantasy world. The controls in Monster Train are intuitive, this adds to this accessibility. Left click, select and drag cards onto the floor. Scroll wheel or up and down buttons in the game navigates between different floors of the train. Simple controls make the game easy to pick up, allowing you to focus on strategy rather than mechanics. <laughs> the sound design in Monster Train is incredible. Imagine dupe like energy but even more refined. Each level and boss fight features distinct tracks and as you progress the mission pumps up in its intensity. The soundtrack is so good I even know from the game just to listen to it. If you plan to play this game I highly recommend experience the soundtrack first hand it is a good vibe. Overall, Monster Train is a fantastic game, despite some occasional bugs which will hopefully be patched over time. I sunk around 4.2 hours into this game on Steam, and I thought it was a lot more. The game is visually captivating, engaging and packed with a lot of replayability. If you give it a chance, you will find tons of content and unique challenges created by other players. Each conference, different level, ramps up the challenge making the runs increasingly intense. Thanks for joining me on this fantastic journey through Monster Train. 
my all-time favorite roguelike card game. If you played it, let me know your favorite moments in the comments or use my Artbeat app to share your highlights with us over on the Artbeat Discord. What game should I review next? Let me know. Until then, I am Panda and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you next time.